Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create an in-cell butterfly chart. Now these are called butterfly charts or they can also be called tornado charts where you have bar charts that uh, are comparing two sets of data, one going one way and the other going the other way. So for example we have this in flavor of ice cream, men over here and women on the, over the right side and you can see that they're facing different directions. This is actually a fairly easy chart to create and instead of using the charting engine in Excel you can actually do this all in cell using the conditional formatting feature in Excel. So let's go and see how we can do this. I'm going to copy this column here. Let me select D1 to D12, Control C to copy, create a new sheet. I'm just going to select uh, E column here and paste values. Right, so let me double click here to auto fit that and I'll put men on this side, put women on this side. And for my percentages, I'm just going to use the random number generator that is available in Excel. And let me select that cell, control and multi select this cell range. And I just have to type in equals rand and this is the one I want. Close parentheses and if I want to execute this command on all these cells I, I um, selected all I need to do is just press the control key, press enter and it will execute it on all the cells that I uh, selected. So what the RAND function does is it generates a number between 0 and 1. We want to make this a percentage so these are still selected I'll just click on the percentage sign and make that a percentage. Now we just need to put conditional formatting within column F and column D. Now column F is pretty easy. Let me just select the range of cells and select conditional formatting and use the data bars. I'm going to use this data bar color and for the men I'm going to select here and select conditional formatting and I'll use the data bar here, this color. Let me increase the column width. I'm going to right click go to column width, let's make this 20 and then right click, select column D, right click column width, make that 20. Click OK. Let's also increase the size here. It's a little bit small so let me increase the size here a little bit so it's easier to see. So now you notice this looks OK. We've got our bars going, going from left to right but this needs to go from right to left. It's actually pretty simple. Go under conditional formatting under manage rules, go to edit rule and we have our edit rule formula, our edit rule window here and my bar direction I want that to go from right to left. Once I click OK, click OK, now it's on the other direction. I also want to have the numbers aligned closest to the middle. This is fine but for this one I'm going to select this range of cells and click the alignment over to left. So pretty much it's all done. The rest of it is just visual formatting. I'm going to get rid of the grid lines everywhere else. Go under view, deselect grid lines, and now put some column borders around here. I'll select this portion and put a border everywhere. Go under home and under the font group. Let me have all borders here. Here, select this one. I just want to have a border on the exterior, so I'm going to select the outside borders. Do the same for this one. This is going to be outside borders. Since I selected that already, click on that. And here, this is going to be outside borders. All right? Select that. And, and now I have my in cell butterfly or tornado chart. Let me also format the headings here. This should be centered. And let me give this a color. That one would be that one would be this color. Let's see the woman's. Let's make it this color and then in favor of, I'm going to make this one blue, blue, let's see, blue looks good, no, maybe green, green looks good. And last but not least, let me center these items, these text in column E, right? And now we have our in-cell butterfly chart. We don't have to use the charting engine, we don't have to insert chart, we don't have to insert chart here, we can just do it all in-cell, and it's actually pretty easy to just copy and paste this as a picture and put it into PowerPoint or whatnot. But this was much easier when you really think about it than trying to put this into a chart using the charting engine in Excel. So that's how we create our in-cell butterfly or tornado chart. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.